Hi. Um, so I'm going to try to make this quick. We just put cookies in the toaster oven. So Henry's will be in here probably any second. Um, but I've been meaning to make this video, I feel like, for so long. Um, but instead of making the video, I was checking in on your loved ones and spirit guides, which um, is more fun <laughs> and probably more beneficial to you anyways. Hey, Renee. So I wanted to share just how I've like been contacting them or communicating with them. Um, cause if I were you, I know I would want to know like, what is she doing? Is she making this up? Is she what, whatever. That's what I would be thinking at least. Hey Sherry. Um, I'm pretty skeptical by nature. Um, but if it's something I believe in, I just believe it. Um, but yeah. So, um, first of all, from what I understand, Hey Jessica, from what I understand, we can all contact and communicate with our own spirit guides and our own loved ones. I've read a few books on it, um, and by read, I mean less listen to audiobooks mainly, but um, from everything that I've seen, read, heard, you are able to connect with your own loved ones and your own spirit guides. Um, the thing is we need to learn how to listen <laughs> and it's so different for everyone so some people um will be able to sort of go into a meditation and see pictures in their mind um and when most people just so you know when they see pictures in their mind most people aren't like literally seeing like a movie screen in their mind they're seeing like if i told you right now to picture like a purple cat you're picturing a purple cat in your head. So there's that, hey Maggie, there's that purple cat picture in your head, but it's not like a movie. It's like more of like a thought, like you're thinking about the image of a purple cat. Most people can do that. Some people can't imagine that in their head. However, so a lot of people, that's how they connect with their guides or loved ones is sort of like in a meditation and they're seeing like images when their eyes are closed. Um, it's really like they're thinking images. A lot of people, um, from what I've heard, um, hear their spirit guides and loved ones. And a lot of times it's in some sort of meditation. Um, but it's not hearing like I'm talking to you now. Some people hear that way, but most times it's your thoughts. Um, so that's a big part of why you want to kind of clear your mind is so you know it's not your thoughts. So you know it's, you know, your guide's thoughts or your loved one's thoughts or something like that. Um... So I have not been doing any of that, <laughs> um, but that's how a lot of people do it. Um, I've been using my pendulum and I, I don't think I'll have to do this forever. Hey, Caitlin, um, from, I'm pretty sure this is sort of like, I think of this as like, um, whatever the wheels are training wheels on a bike. To me, this is like my training wheel. Um, and I think it's because they know I wouldn't believe it if it was just thoughts in my head. <laughs> um, when I can like literally see it in front of me, it's like, I can't deny that. Um, so I think they know that about me and that's why this works for me. Um, but anyone can get one of these. This is a pendulum. I bought mine when I went to Kripala one time. Um, I think people even do this with like their wedding ring on the end of like a string or something. Um, I do have a friend that, uh, like a Facebook friend, I've never met her in real life, but she sells like crystals and she sells um, pendulums and stuff. And I've only bought one thing from her. It's a uh, smoky quartz. Um, and I think she gave me something else with this, but her, if, if you are going to buy a pendulum, I would strongly suggest, I'll give you her website or Facebook group. Um, things that come from her, it's just, they're like, I don't know, they're just stronger in like a good sense. Um, so basically for me, this is like a, um, Ouija board of love and light. <laughs> um, I did watch a few videos about Ouija boards. I don't know if you've used them before. Um, but I think with Ouija boards, for some reason they, um, it's more easily to connect with things. Um, I don't want to use the word darker, but um, on the not so love and light side of things, I don't know how to say it. Um, but what a pendulum is more like, you know, if you're trying to contact like for happy, good reasons, like your spirit guides, um, it's not like something you're going to sit on Halloween and try to like summon something that you shouldn't be summoning, basically. Um, so this, not scary. What I've been doing, I keep looking down. I literally just wrote this out on a piece of paper. So I wrote the alphabet. Um, and when I'm talking to your people, I'm literally like holding this um, and it spells words. So it does take a little while, um, which is why it took me a week to get through that thread. 
um, because, you know, I'm going letter by letter right now. Um, sometimes I can kind of guess the word and they'll let me know. Like sometimes I guess, cause you know, I'm like in my head, right. I'm trying to guess what they're saying and they'll spell out no. So like, that's when I have to like not try to guess. Um, so basically I'm holding this above this, um, and they're spelling out the word. So I don't see why, like you couldn't try that if you wanted to. Um, I, you can look up videos on YouTube about, um, like what to say. So I personally, I did take a course, um, from my friend on, um, the Akashic Records. I don't know if you've heard of them. Um, it's basically, people say it's like, what's another word for it? Um, all of consciousness. I don't know what the word is. Um, but basically like all thoughts that have ever been thought all it's your story. If you believe in past lives, information about your past lives, everything, everything is sort of in this like consciousness. So I did take a course on the Akashic Records. So when I do, before I go to like talk to anyone, <laughs> I do sort of like open my records and it's like, um, basically I'm just saying like, you know, I open to my, um, Akashic Records. I like with love, compassion, light, um, I come for guidance, for love. Hey, Christina. And, um, for messages of the highest good. So I'm always making sure I'm working with like things of the highest good. I say that all the time because for me, that's super important, like for my own brain. So I'm not freaked out by anything, but also I just want to make sure I'm creating sort of that like love light protection bubble around me. Um, I've never had anything weird happen like when I'm doing this. So it's working or maybe it's not necessary, but I'm going to keep doing it. Um, I'll also say, um, like, please, please, what do I say? Please, um, allow me to be a, like a divinely clear channel, um, to receive messages for the highest good of all. So the highest good of all, I'm like constantly saying that. Um, so yeah, so that's basically what I'm doing. What I've noticed is like, usually the loved one that you want to talk to is there. I kind of think of it like I'm picking up like the phone and they're either there, they want to answer or they don't want to answer. Um, and because I'm saying of the highest good for all, sometimes say a loved one doesn't come through, but maybe one of your spirit guides comes through. Hey, Sarah. And I think that's because that's the message you most need to hear. So say you asked a question about something and they didn't answer it, but they told you something else. Um, I think that's just because the question you're asking is not what you most need to hear right now. Um, I've had that happen a few times. Um, and what else? The timer's going. Henry's probably going to be in here in a second. Um, yeah. So I've also checked in on, you know, I'm going to have to go shut the timer off. You want to go on a tour? We're just going to go shut the toaster up and off. I just cleaned the house. So it's not going to be a big disaster. You're walking around. Oh, okay. Hello. Yeah. Good thing I'm already here. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Who was it? I, it's a bunch of people. I'm just showing them how I use my pendulum. Okay. So this is going to have to sit. Okay. So don't, oh. don't touch that. They have to cool. What's the chance he doesn't burn himself? <laughs> you know what? Let me put him on a plate for you. I know. I know to cool down. I know what will cool down. I swear I'll get right back to what I'm doing in a minute. <laughs> uh, I yeah, I will. That's a big one for me. I'm going to think of one. I'm going to, ooh, I don't want the mushy more. Oh, they're all, you want to cook them more then? They're too mushy. Okay, watch out. We'll cook yours more. I don't want So, hey, Mom, can we cook some more? Sags, now you have to wait more. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, there you go. I'll be right back when it beeps. So that was my house. <laughs> I'm over here in the toy room. Just take my camera one. Okay. So, <laughs> hey Kimberly. Sorry for that. Um, so, sir, the kind of things that I've also checked in on, um, which I thought was really neat. Uh, this morning I checked in I wanted to ask so I've been letting Henry watch like too much TV and I wanted to find out like should I do no TV again because I did that a while ago I, I'm gonna eat the mushy one Henry yeah I'll eat that one anyways I checked in on my my guide couldn't tell me anything about um, what I should do they said not sure which I also think was kind of funny 
yes. The mushy one for daddy. Okay, the mushy ones will be daddy's. Um, but then I asked his guide came through and um, told me that he needs no um, T L E V I. I'm not gonna say What's it right now. T L E. And um, what's and he the guide also said something about like he needs Mommy, like a fun mom and for me to be having more fun, which I'm totally um, in agreement on that. <laughs> um, so you can check in on like other you can Mommy, check in with other people or at least I've something. been able to check in on other people's guides um, to give me information about just Nardog. like what I can do Nardog. about um Nardog, Nardog, relationships Nardog. Um, about. They had moving about no, um, just like what is in the highest and no, best no, no, right no. now um, no, as no, well as you know checking no, with loved ones I do no, find no, oh, so I was gonna say I got so off track with the cookies um, no, I do find it works no, way no, better when people have questions no, so I worked with a no, few people um, no, like behind the scenes no, doing um, like no, multiple no, questions either no, for a loved one or for no, their spirit guides um, and I'm able to get a lot deeper it's not just like one little message it's like ah. something um, it's just a lot bigger um, and a lot more so I think when people I bring know. questions um, you, you know like you can really get those answered yeah. not just like okay what okay. message do they have for me but like I mean what are some things you want to know right so um, you know, is this relationship in my highest and best interest? Um, hey, is this job in my highest and best? Is this house in my highest and best? Um, it's really just any question to figure out, you know, is this most in alignment for me? Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So um, if you want my friend's uh, private Facebook group, if you are interested in buying any sort of crystal pendulum type thing, I can give that to you. Um, but also just... Um, I mean, even, I guess, if you are interested, even asking a question, uh, what is, you know, the best way for me to contact or connect with my loved ones or connect with my spirit guides? Um, the thing is, they won't always tell you, which I found out is like, it's actually a pet because like, that we need to them. also figure things out on our own sometimes, but they will let you know right away, like either, yes, I'm they're going to answer your message or I'm no, doing. figure That's that out on I your own. Um, which I think is, is neat. And also we have free will. So that's something else to remember. Like just because your spirit guide or a loved one says something does not mean it has to be your truth. Um, for me, if my guides are telling me something and that to me is my, an alignment and my highest truth. So I, as of so far, I have always listened to them, but if they said something and I was like, no way, like it's definitely not, resonating with me or doesn't feel right with me I would not follow like blindly so just like something to keep in mind too you always have free will whether you know I say something or someone else tells you something um you're always in charge so just to remember that um they did tell me um also that um that I'm ready to give you guys like a, mo a money offer is what they called it. That what did they say? <laughs> the being group is ready for a money offer. To for me that like kind of scares me. Um, so it's been like two days where I haven't come in here and said anything, and it's so funny because every time I go back and ask, you know, is there a message for me or something like that, it's literally like the same message. Like I had a loved one come through and said they're ready for a money offer, and. The spirit guy, it just they, they, it's like they're on repeat. It's like I think of it as like a little tape recorder. They just like press, although it's obviously the letters, and just keep saying the same thing until I move and do it. So like for for example, I got for a long time like be a medium for your mom like for a while, and I was like I didn't I hadn't even told her that I was like what I was doing, um, <laughs> cause I what are they're uh, not totally into all of this kind of stuff. Um, so I was like, I don't want to tell her what I'm doing. So I didn't listen to that for a while, and they kept saying it. They kept saying it, and finally I did it. And then it's like, I feel like it's like, okay, I unlocked that, and now they're, like, moving to the next one, like, to do kind of, like, the practicing with you all, um, which thank you, by the way, all of you that posted on that thread. That was, like, super helpful for me to practice um, with all of you. But anyway, so then the offer, I'm like, okay, well, what's the offer, right? Because, like, I don't know. I want to be told what to do sometimes. And, um... They kept telling me to decide for myself. I'm like, hey, I'm doing like a spirit-led business. Like, tell me what to do. <laughs> but 
as you know, you, or maybe you don't know, but whatever, we're meant to figure things out on our own too. So basically I kind of said some stuff. They came back with like, yes or no. Um, and I'm all for listening to the yes, um, because I do feel like that's in, um, the highest and best good for all. Like that's like my huge, I don't know if you've read Gabby Bernstein's super attractor book, her newest book. Um, she talks about that a ton in there. Like and I know it's in like a ton of her cards too, but like the living for the highest and best of all, I think there's a different way to say it, voter. Um, I love that. I think it takes so much stress off me having to figure everything out. So when I was like, oh my gosh, I can talk to my guides, like tell me what to do. And then they wouldn't. I was like, hey, <laughs> tell me, I'm right here. But anyway, so there's two offers, nice and simple. Um, and if you don't want to do this, like seriously, I'm not going to be offended if no one takes me up on this. Um, but I do feel like I need to listen to my guides right now because they said it's in highest and best. Um, so um, the two things, the first one is $30, and it is for um, three specific questions. Um, and I want to get deep with the questions. So it's not just going to be like one little sentence answer. I want to make sure I can really get deep with whoever you want me to ask, whether it's a loved one or a guide. Um, and so three questions, I will type it all up. Um, and you can decide, you can ask if you would like it to be a loved one answering, if you would like it to be a certain loved one, if you would like it to be your spirit guides. Um, I find the spirit guides do better with like life guidance type advice. Um, but to whatever feels right to you, um, is what's right for you. Uh, the only thing to re like realize is I can't control it. I am in no control of spirit, right? So but I am in control of saying it's of highest and best. So if you ask three questions and you want so-and-so to answer, but someone else comes and answers, um, I can't promise that like your specific person will come through or your specific guide will come through, um, but I can ask for it. And then I am just in belief that whatever comes through is, is, is of best for you. Um, so that, and then the second offer, so just two super easy ones. The second one's $33. I don't know why they wanted them to be different, but they did, so I'm going for it. Um, and the second one is just uh, super easy. Three questions throughout the month. So you can ask sort of one question a week. Um, you can ask three questions in the same day. Um, the one, like the three questions for the month, like I'll start that like right when I get it either in my messenger or my email um, and then I don't have fine print or anything with these but like obviously if you don't get an answer um, I'm not gonna like I'll do it again so like say you paid Mama, thirty dollars for three questions and like Mama. for some reason no one came through um, we would just do it we would do it again at, at another point I wouldn't like say oh there's your three questions um, but yeah, so that's it. I'm super excited. Um, I'm super thankful for all of you for just being here, um, for asking your questions, for letting me connect with some of your loved ones and your guides. Um, it really is like an honor, um, feeling their energy and like just the emotions behind it is pretty intense sometimes, but I, um, yeah, I really see it as like an honor. So, um, feel free if you have questions about what I'm doing, um, or if I can direct you any sort of way. If you're into the Akashic Records, if that sounds interesting to you, Google a little bit, and um, I can always tell you about my friend's course that I um, that I took too. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone has a great day. I hope that helps um, tell you what I've been doing, and I'm gonna go the get the cookies, cookies out of the oven. Are baking the cookies.